previously on either self team files. We went hunting for boss. We had a standoff at Hitomi's place. Hitomi's still missing. We synced with boss, found out some real fucked up shit. And now we're trying to unpack everything we just found out. I took a look around your head. And apparently... And I discovered something. There is... I'm still of the mind that there is some, uh... Like, uh... Sense and sympathy, brain hopping... Something about the new Cyclops serial killings. Brain hopping shenanigans going on here. To, to have things play out the way they have. With, uh... Renju killing Choco. Iris killing Renju. So Sejima killing Iris. And now Boss killing So. Apart from Ota, there are four victims. Shoko Nadami, Renju Okiura, Iris Sagan, and So Sejima. Who was responsible for these murders? Shoko was stabbed by Renju with an ice pick. Renju was strangled to death by Iris. So cut open Iris's body. But who shot So? It was you. In other words, all of these murders were committed by different people. There wasn't just one killer. That's how it looks on the surface, anyway. But... You have intimate knowledge That's of them all. That's not the truth, is it? There's only one culprit. One person. And that person is... Mirror. Pipe. Desk. Well, obviously... Yes, you, the person in front of me right now. You're blaming the commander of Abyss for this? No, not boss. The person inside boss's head. Oh, oh, that head roll. Can you at least try to make sense? All right, I'll explain. You know about the abandoned chemical plant in Kabasaki? There's a prototype sink machine there. You use that device to swap around bodies one by one. Huh. In other words, the entire egg ends up being replaced. Mind, consciousness, memory, they are traded. Switched. Huh. I don't know where it started, but at some point, you got into Shoko's brain. Into Shoko's? Then, you got into Renju's. And got rid of Shoko's body. After Renju was Iris. That would explain... the turn she took. You strangled Renju using Iris. Why Iris was driving. After that, into So. Why Iris was driving despite not being able to drive. Who you used to kill Iris and Ota at the cult storage warehouse. Hmm. Now, you're in Boss's body. So Boss may very well have been our ally all along, but... Inside her head. Someone... That is curious. I see. That posture change. If you know that much, then I have nothing left to hide. Yes. I am the culprit behind the new Cyclops serial killings. I guess you can call me the new Cyclops killer. Mm, mm, mm. Her eyes look clouded and dark. That expression change. Who the hell are you? Saito. Whoa. Saito Sejima.
Well, how? Congressman hell. Sejima's son. What? I researched Saito thoroughly, but I cannot find any images of him on the internet. He is listed on the family register, but I cannot find any photographs. He killed Manika back in the day, so where the hell did he... What was inside of Iris That doing? was me. Yep. It's around that time. Shit, then... Well, hell. All right. That makes that explains a lot. You imitate her well. From the way you talked in your body language, it was like the real Iris. Earlier too, you almost had me fooled. Your imitation of Boss was perfect. Yes, there's a reason for that. Let me define some terms first. A person's memory and sense of self. Let's call that personality. It isn't quite the right word, but it'll suffice. Now, transferring that personality into someone else's brain, let's call that parasitism. The one transferring is the parasite. The one being transferred into is the host. Are you with me so far? Moving on. Even after the personality exchange is complete, the host's memory isn't completely lost. About 1% remains in the brain. So, a parasite could use that 1% to imitate the language and behavior of the host. Damn, this really is some sense of sympathy crap. That's how I knew about the warehouse and Sunfish Pocket, by the way. Thanks to Renju and Iris's remaining memories. I'm telling you. Hey. It was me. Why are you making me repeat myself? That means the Somnium I entered on Sunday. Was you? That would certainly explain a lot. Was not Iris's, but Saito Sejima's. That's right. It was me. How? How does he know about the original Cyclops killer? Something else was troubling me. Our face. What's going on here? Our eyes look. Yep. Before I do, there's something I want to hear from you. How did you know about the prototype sync machine? And not only that. You also seem to know what the sync machine is truly capable of. Are we starting to experience some time lunch shenanigans too? That's... Regaining your memories, are you? Oh Human shit. Human memory is fractal. If you retain even a single piece of it, it's possible to recreate the whole thing. Pieces of memories are like roots that grow into every corner of the brain. Gradually, slowly, taking its time. I imagine the same thing is happening in your brain right now. A fractal is a figure with self-similarity. Allow me to explain. See this? Whichever fragment you cut, you will see a similar shape. The whole is made up of its similar parts. This is called a fractal figure. Memories in the brain are similar. That is what he is explaining. He is claiming that from a few pieces, you can rebuild the memory. I knew about the prototype for regaining my memory. Is that right? No, that's not it. Parallel worlds exist. Continue. Fine. I still have time. Time? You'll see. So, where do you want me to start? It's just past midnight on Tuesday. Shoko was killed on Friday. I think that is day one. Today is day five. What was Saito doing those days? I decided to ask him. 
Like you guessed, my personality was in Shoko, Renju's ex-wife. That made calling Renju easy. I need to talk to you about something. He came over without question. I think it was around 4 p.m. I had him meet me at the chemical plant. I made Renju go to sleep. Synced, switched personalities, and then stabbed Shoko's discarded body with an ice pick. I took Shoko to Bloom Park by car, using the old abandoned subway line. Must have been around 8 p.m. by the time I was finished. I tied up Shoko to one of the merry-go-round horses. After that, I used Renju's phone to send a Nile message to Mizuki. That would certainly explain that. Mizuki and Daddy got caught up in something serious. Then, I just waited for Mizuki to arrive. Then that phone call from... Shoko to So Sejima was... Could have been you as well. Until next Saturday evening, my personality was inside Renju. My next target was Iris. I knew she would be suspicious if I asked her to come to Kawasaki, so I asked her to come to Sunfish Pocket first. Hmm, so in the timelines... In the timeline... The timeline where we, uh... Take the Mizuki path of her Somnium. Saito's progression continues. He gets into Iris. Has Iris killed Renju? Everything we deduced during the investigation of Renju's murder, tying to Iris, directly lines up. The whole weight on the elevator lining up with uh, Renju's body and Iris's approximate weight. The, uh, obviously the later factor that Ota concealed, which was seeing Iris driving Renju's car. Which is not an Iris thing to do. It was very much a Saito puppeting Iris sort of thing to do. I called her a little before 5 p.m., and she arrived just after 6. With Date looking out for her, she doesn't take the bait. As such, in the the last timeline we left is Saito still in Renju. I greeted her, <sighs> then convinced her to come with me. Or is he in Falco now? That's when Ota saw us. Anyway, I put her in the car, then headed to the chemical plant. On the way, I made her take a sleeping pill. I knew she might run once she saw where we were going. She's familiar? It was around 7 p.m. when I got there, and I wasted no time switching bodies. After getting Iris's body, I used a rolled-up apron to strangle Renju to death. Then I put his body in an empty oil drum I had prepared earlier. I put that in the trunk of the car, then headed to Sunfish Pocket. But then, something I didn't anticipate happened. So Waiting Ota. for the signal in Akiba, someone knocked on the window of the car. Is this why you set the whole plan up to uh, escape from Date with Ota? It was Ota. He asked me something about being able to drive. He was surprised, to say the least. I didn't have time to waste on him, but... I couldn't risk him finding the oil drum in the trunk. Plus, if word got around that Renji's car was spotted driving around Akiba, that would foil my plans. So, I came up with a lie. 
I told him that I didn't have a license, so he had to keep it a secret. That's what that thing referred to in Ota's Nile messages, by the way. Since we and didn't just like that, I managed to escape a bad situation and headed to Sunfish Pocket as planned. Since we didn't find out in uh, this path. The rest went exactly as you already figured out. Alright, Sunday. Sunday morning, I had a recording or some such thing scheduled. Oh, I am, of course, referring to Iris. I didn't want to draw suspicion, so I decided to attend as planned. I went to Lemniscate and performed my job. And when I left, I ran into you, Date. To be honest, I was a little surprised. Just the previous night, I was a parasite in the body of Renju. I didn't think Ota had seen me. So, of course, I didn't expect to see you there so soon. You were on to me, but there was nothing I could do about that. If I ran, it would only increase your suspicion. So I decided to play my role. The interrogation began around 8.20 p.m., is that right? Then you sinked into my mind. It's all some fucked up shit. Saw that, which is still very concerning. But you didn't get what you were looking for, did you? Saw so that. Combined with uh, how sh how So reacted to us in the Mizuki path. In fact, this all started six years ago. We have no memory before that. Saito talking about regaining our memories. Certain factors which seem to be causing that pulsating headache effect. As a result, you had no choice but to release me. I didn't want to go home right away. I knew there might be police waiting for me. That would make it difficult to sneak out at night. And that would put my plan in jeopardy. So I asked you to take me to Marble. I tried to find an opportunity to run, but then another unexpected event occurred. I got a Nile message from Ota. I knew I could use him. So I told him I needed his help and to meet me at Marble. He did as I instructed him to do. After that, I got into the van with Ota. But because his presence was unnecessary, I asked him to stop at a convenience store to buy me something to drink. Nobody kidnapped you, you drove away yourself. When he was gone, I took his car and drove to my parents' house where I used to live. Got some goodies? Yes. The Sejima residence. Got some goodies? Got so. Mm, of course, I knew I couldn't just walk up and ring the doorbell. Were you so in Mizuki's ending? Because you're, even if your murder plan failed, you still swapped to So Sejima to uh, do the thing. Hello, Father. It's been a long time. I was also in Iris's body at the time. So, so, so your statement would still not be false. But I thought I could use that to my advantage. Hello, Father. It's been a long time. So I pushed on the intercom, and sure enough, my dad invited me inside. I told him this. I want you to come with me. There's something I need to show you. He was quiet for a while, but eventually agreed and got into the van with me. 
We arrived at the prototype sink machine around 11.50 p.m. By the time I was in the body of Sosajima, it was a new day. Hmm. I don't know if this continue means move the plot forward or... There isn't much to talk about on Monday. Before noon, I used my old man's body to call this one. Boss. You might not know this, but she and my father go back about six years. There's that six years motif again. She shared a terrible secret. Hinting at that was enough to get the boss to come running to me immediately. I injected her with a sedative, then brought her body to the chemical plant. I synced with her, exchanged our bodies. And after blowing my father's brains out, I cut his body into pieces. I stuffed the meat into a vase I'd brought earlier, then drove back to my house. This was yesterday, early Monday morning, past midnight. In my new body, I drugged Iris, put her in the van, and drove to a new location, Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. I arrived around one, then prepared for the show for a couple hours. Of course, when I say show, I mean dismembering Iris. Because of the temperature in the warehouse, it took longer than I expected to prepare, but... Well, mm -hmm. we saw it in the video. Of course, I didn't anticipate Ota would show up. What does that make it? Three times that brat has showed up unexpectedly? He's got a knack for that. That annoyed me to no end, and I took that out on him. Dressing him up in the polar bear was a prompty plan on my part. I didn't mean to make you think he was the killer. I just wanted to throw a wrench into the investigation. It didn't matter if you found out or not. This all happened Monday morning. I left the warehouse around 3.30 a.m. Saito spoke with grace and no sign of remorse. I was trying to keep my anger from boiling over and kept asking him questions. Why did the sink victims resist? Ah, the prototype sink machine has a special feature. It administers a strong dose of sedatives to the original body and a stimulant to the host after a sink. That kept them docile. Uh. To harass you. Well, all right, fair enough. I wanted to bring out the hatred in you. That's why I called Mizuki to Bloom Park. Well, that... That's why I streamed Iris's murder. Because they were important to you, weren't they? I wanted you to feel cornered, trapped. I wanted to punish you, Konami Date. You know all about the prototype sink machine, don't you? That should explain it. I, I knew. Prototype sync machine differed from the one at Abyss in a few key ways. Machine at Abyss is more sophisticated. Nano cables from the sync gear and it through the gap between the eyeball and the socket. Then travel down the optic nerve canal to the brain. Prototype sync machine isn't so advanced. To form a sync, you need to remove the left eye manually. A subject and the sinker have to remove their eye from this. Otherwise, the cables cannot enter the brain. 
course, even with the eye removed, severing the connection to the brain isn't necessary. The extracted eyeball still has the optic nerve and blood vessels connected. Oh, that's supremely fucked up. After a sink, the eye is supposed to be replaced back in the sock. That is supremely fucked up. It's supposed to be safe. Side effects are rare. Unless the nerve or blood vessels are damaged somehow, replacing the eyeball isn't too difficult. So what happened to the eyes? Of course, I don't really care about eyes. I don't need them. All I cared about was exchanging bodies with the sink. Which, obviously, the your new destination, you replace the eye properly. If both have to be removed, you replace the eye properly on your new destination. And just leave the eye missing and on the that, victim. I needed to remove the left eye. Why didn't you just put the eyes back when you were done? That's obvious. Once I was finished transferring into a new body, the old one was of no concern to me. Why would I bother replacing the eye? I was just going to get rid of it anyway. Alright, where are your eyes? We know where one is. Shoko's is in Renju. Renju's is in Iris. Iris's is in Dad. Supremely fucked up. Dad's is in Boss. Supremely fucked up. <laughs> Their stomachs, I mean. You sick bastard. Yes, I ate them. Immediately after exchanging personalities. How horrible. Homicide is my hobby. I have a tenacity for it, what can I say? Of course, it was also necessary to make sure people kept their mouths shut. I if mean... I took over someone's body, they would know about my crimes. I couldn't risk them reporting me, so I killed them. It was also a matter of revenge against you. It's personal. Personal. That's why I chose people close to you as targets. Well, except for my father, of course. That was personal to me. But don't ask. It's embarrassing. I mean, we know him well enough and how he treats his family. He's got, uh... This series of murders was like a journey for me, you know, traveling through bodies to finally reach the end. And this is the timeline where you win. That's the thing about traveling. You always wind up in the same place, don't you? Where do you think that is? Your home. A trip is only complete once you return home. The same goes for me. We're gonna come to the answer I've been... I've been having on... We're gonna come to the answer I've been having on my mind. But, uh... Haven't vocalized yet, aren't we? When I return home, my travels will come to an end. We're, you're, you're, you're gunning for the answer that I have not vocalized, have we? So I'll be needing it back. My body. Yep, we're, we're coming to that point. What? You stole my body. You took it from me six years ago. That's why I want revenge. What are you talking about? That's why we saw Dante's face in Saito's Somnium. That's why So mentioned his own son when Date had a gun on him. You have no idea what it was like inside my own head. I miss it. I miss my brain, Date. No matter how many people I killed, it never worked. I never felt happy. I feel miserable. You... you mean... He was born with a brain dysfunction. Due to damage to the posterior pituitary gland, he was unable to properly secrete oxytocin. Oh, that's right. My old body. How are you finding it, Dante? 
medication that Iba keeps uh, administering. Whenever Date brings up odd thoughts about killing someone. That's what I've been telling you! But I don't have the same oxytocin deficiency you did. You have Iba in you regulating that. That is because I regularly supplement it. They must have increased your dosage too much. Here we go. All this comes back to roost. No, but the person who had this disorder was number 89, the original Cyclops killer. That is what I believed as well, but we must have misunderstood. Pewter did not specify who exactly was imprisoned, only that one of the original culprits responsible was currently in prison. One of them. That's strange. One of them was Rohan. We know A. Falco was an assassin for the Kumakotas. That would mean number 89 is the previous chairman, Rohan. That must be it. For, for Rohan her? is a parasite inside number well, 89's brain. Where, where are we? Known that. Ro Rohan in Falco's brain. Saito in Renju's brain. So that timeline we left because of the story lock. It's about to have a really fucked up final no conversation. Way. Final confrontation. How did that happen? I was confused. I didn't understand any of it. Is the secret they have whatever shenanigans went on with that prototype sync device originally. Let us determine the specifics using Saito as our starting point. Whose brain was he in before boss? So Sejima. And before so? Iris. And before that, Renju. And before that, Shoko. And before Shoko? Whose body were you in before Shoko? I was a Shoko? parasite inside Rohan's brain six years ago until last year. Inside Rohan's brain? I'd lost most of my memories. I was a shell of a man. They housed me in a special hospital. But I still had those fragments of my mind left. Just as I explained earlier. From a single piece, you can recreate the whole. I took my time. Slowly regaining my memories. One year ago, I remembered everything. I left the hospital and immediately sought out Shoko Nadami. I got her body, and she was in Rohan's. It's a fucked up way to... When she saw herself in the mirror, she lost her mind. She was confused, panicking, running up the emergency staircase, and then... why Rohan committed suicide. You were a parasite in Rohan's brain. Rohan is a parasite in number 89's brain. After that, I spent a year perfecting my plan. Who was in our brain then? Using Shoko's body. I spied on you all this time. That's why I know everything about you. One year ago. In there, in that body you are operating right now, in that skull, my personality lived there. Wait, hold on. If what you're saying is true, what about my personality? Who the hell am I? It was in Rohan. I'm not Rohan! Correct. It is just as he explained earlier. Number 89 was in Rohan's body. So Rohan swapped with 89. We swapped with Rohan. Saito swapped with Rohan. So we are Falco? In other words. Which is why we're having the dream 
that match Falco's Somnium. I real? Jesus Christ. God damn. In a sense, we knew he told me. Sorry, but time's up. I want my body back. It's quite simple. Sink with me and stay inside my mind for more than six minutes. And if I refuse? <laughs> I know that you won't. I know it. Because you ever told me. <laughs> what? Date, look! This is streaming live! I told me. Oh, shit. Damn you! If you give me back my body, I will give you the location. Oh, and of course, it isn't the chemical plant in the Kawasaki district. Baiba, where's the source? It is being routed through numerous IPs. I cannot identify the source. Computer, contact headquarters, now! Got it. Now, what will you do? Will you agree to my request? Well. This feels like a big prime chance for a bad ending. All right. See how much time passes. I paused five minutes. Very good. I refuse. Doctor, I'm hurt. Don't you care about what happens to her? I refuse. Do you understand the gravity of this situation? A bomb is strapped to her body. We could stall for time. You're too stubborn. Or maybe you're just cold hearted. You want to see what will happen when her flesh burns and tears and scatters? Not really. I'm trying to solve her time you here. You quick. You see the whole thing. You know I'm not bluffing, don't you? Well, didn't agree. No matter how many times he demanded it of me. Refused again and again. When I saw it, I understood. Boss's body rolled into the corner of the room. I didn't want to think anymore. Anything. Nothing. I closed my eyes and ran my palm across my face. I could taste blood. Boss's body rolled into the corner of the room. Terry Shroom, bad end! Well, that's not gonna work. Don't do that. Don't do that. All right. Got a few refused Doctor, ones. I'm hurt. Don't you care about what happens to her? Actually, yes, I do care about what happens to her. Dante. See, I knew you wouldn't refuse. I know you well, don't I, Dante? Who was the original Kaname Date? Is this going to be an actual sync segment? Or is this just... post-sync? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I did it. I did it. I'm back. I got it all back. Hey, where's Hitomi? All right. I'll tell you as promised. Boss's house. However, it might be too late by now. What? Oh. Oh god. Oh god. Great. Great. Why? Return my body and I'll tell you the location. I didn't say I'd stop the bombs. That's you fucker. I, I didn't lie. I kept my promise. You bastard! <sighs> You're the one who injured that body. It's your own fault, really. Damn it. Be seeing you. Iba, execute. His voice barely resonated. My eyesight was hazy, a heap of broken images. Sweat was building on my palms. It felt like my throat was closing up and I was struggling for breath. In my ears, the rushing blood of my heartbeat was the only sound. Everyone's dead. Shoko, Renju, Iris, Ota, Hitomi. Boss. The flesh remains. The mind is lost. I couldn't do anything. Boss died in Sho So Sejpa's body. So died in Iris's body. Saito had me right where he wanted me. Nothing. Nothing. Parallel worlds exist. The words suddenly echoed in my head. I couldn't remember who or where or why. I thought that if there really was such a world, then me in that world, I is another. Could I have had a better future? I is another Somnium file. Sorry. I prayed that I could. I felt my consciousness sink into a black abyss. Holy fuck. I'm... I am... Ah. Oh. Mind is still... I don't even know what to think. I genuinely don't know how... That's, that is a lot that we just got unloaded on us here. That is a lot to process. It explains all of the oddities about all the crimes we've seen this, so far. So we we really wrapped up all of the new Cyclops killings in one clean bow. And realistically, there was someone... The whole reason I did that bit in this series where I sort of, like, extracted the story lock from this route. Because they had someone like comments going, Don't go down this route! Don't go down this route! Stop! Turn back! Turn back! Don't go down this route! Turn back now! Which, realistically, by going so hard that... <laughs> Turn back, turn back, turn back. It really made the revelation in that video clip all the more significant than if you had just said nothing and let me show it. To begin with, you know who you are. In, a, in, a, in, a, in, 
essence by over rambunctiously warning me about that route. That's kind of more of a spoiler than just letting it play out. And realistically, that story lock was at a really good place. Just casually drops the image of boss killing So Sejima. And the reality of what awaited me beyond that story lock was way, way, I never could have predicted that. Like, the only point, like, if I'd gone from that story lock, well, I did go from that story lock to the route with So being the killer we identified at Iris's crime scene. So So was the uh, new Cyclops killer there. That leads us with the image of, uh... That leads us with the image of, uh... Saito's plan failed, and Saito died in So's body. Because So could not get boss. But yeah, I... I only really started suspecting that there was brain fudgery going on after that story lock. When we, uh... After that story lock, when we got that confrontation with Boss in Hitomi's house. But even, th even then, that was way more I ever could have expected. I thought, like, someone was certainly, like, since his sympathy parasitizing boss, but that is like complete mind wipe. Mind F, ego death. Shenanigans. There. And now... Yes, this is... So, wow, Hitomi's path. With Monica, so Sejima. Monica was killed by Saito Sejima. I suppose now... The ultimate truth here is revealing what happened six years ago. We can speculate on a few things here. Now that we've all but confirmed that this original body is in fact Saito Sejima's. Which the uh, face in the Somnium reveals. Which makes me wonder when, bang, when we had the Somnium split in there. That had to have been, like, uh, a split, uh, the whole rem remnants of Iris's personality. Within, uh, remnants of Iris's personality and memories with uh, Saito transplanted on top of. So Saito's memories through the filter of Iris. It feels like through the filter of child Iris. The bit we got from that was Saito. What the hell did we get from Saito at that point? Or... Why, why did So's face show up? Ah, oh, not that Somnium, that's Ota's. 
Why did So's face show up in this Somnium? Suspicious figure kissed So. Iris does not know So's sentiment, but... Mysterious suspicious figure kissed So. We've... We th so my original theory that this was Hitomi is in fact wrong. Is it Monica? Since Saito obviously killed Monica, and Monica was having a fling with So. That's how it That's how Iris got made. Ah, uh, this a memory of Saito's. Recalling uh, a, a tryst between Monica and So. Very incomprehensible. So the vicious figure kissed So. A lot of childhood memories. In this case, we, uh, hmm. in this case, we got pure unfiltered Saito out of the sound name. Iris released, went about her plan to escape using Ota. She obviously knew about Marble, asked to stop there, found Ota, they left. This instance... They went to Matsushita Diner. Where Ota didn't need a taser to do the thing. At this point, Saito was in So. Obviously using So to attempt to kill Iris. But it was saved, so the So we confronted here was Saito. And this is just saving Tate up the fact. And ultimately, this makes this ending all the all the happier because this is just not even, not Dante, not Falco. It's, it's just not Falco, not Saito. This is just who Dante is now. This is Kaname Dante. So I'm going to put out into the world and theorize that this is just Kaname Dante. It's just an identity constructed after Falco got transplanted into. Saito Sejima. So the identity of Saito Sejima is heavily protected. And assuming that Saito Sejima's left eye was not replaced, he was replaced with Aiba, became Kaname Date Abyss investigator, with Aiba monitor uh monitoring his brain juices to keep his murderous pimples as I'm going overboard. And alas. Okay, wow, this is... This instance. It's not the kitchen knife. It's brought him in direct contact with Yumi. Which didn't really solve anything, but healed the rift between Miami and Ota. That is Ota Path.
this instance, yes, in this instance, after seeing, see, here's, here's another thing as, as far as why showing that clip of boss killing so. It's not a heavy spoiler. It's just, it's just another piece of evidence in this game. We have to have more faith in it. We have to have more faith in him and his ability to tell stories and, st and tease in this direction. This is very intentionally structured to not give you too much until you're ready to proceed. Like, with that knowledge of boss killing so, when I got to this end of the Somnium, and which ended with boss saying, get the fuck out, and Date saying, no, I'm about to see the, I'm about to see the culprit. My thought was, is it, is it, is it, is it boss under the, under the bear? Fuck was that all about? But no, I quickly, I, I also finished this Somnium with way more time remaining, so it's, that's a gameplay and story segregation thing. That's a whole different matter entirely. But yeah, this is assuming that in this case, Dante spent more than six minutes in Somnium, which creates another issue. But no, we didn't actually do any personality swapping, which means you had to have stayed way more than six minutes in Somnium to swap here. So Dante is still Dante here. Hmm. There's still, I have a feeling the last of our mysteries are going to be solved at the end of all of this last, uh, segment. Like, is this true end? This segment here. Saito was in 89's body. Okay, so this progression happened much differently. This progression happened much differently than uh, happened here, because obviously in this path, Date kept uh, kept track of Iris and so we had Iris Iris and so under more under a more protective watch so at this point in the timeline uh Saito is still in Renju this is also the segment with the uh, Renju and There's also the matter of uh, so secretary was in talk, was in contact with eighty nine. Eighty nine escaped with Renju's help, and this is where Pewter was also hijacked to get him out. Yes, we did explain. Yes, it's been captured. Free here and save her. She was still in danger. She was very clearly in danger because Saito was still targeting her as Renju. Did we end up finding Iris here? I 
Uh, yeah, we did not actually find Iris this bad, uh, did, have we? Because the core of this path here, and the sink with Hitomi, was that this is not, in fact, Iris. This is Monica Iwai. And Monica is Iris' actual mother, so... Iris is still AWOL. So is still... existing in the plot, but AWOL. Number 89 escaped with Renju. Renju as, uh, Saito Sejima. Renju as Saito Sejima. Number 89 as Rohan Kumakura. Renju is dead. 89 is here. So 89 is... Saito. Oh, okay, obviously this has spoiled us. 89 is Saito. Yeah, so, Dante and Tomi arrived at the factory, found Renju's corpse. We're now knocked out. So, a swap happened here. Okay, so I've slightly spoiled myself on what happens next, but that is okay. We, we could have come to that conclusion ourselves anyways. Is this the end? We'll see. Until next time. Until then, I have waffled on for long enough.